Hi, welcome to Let's Stamp with Phyllis. Uh, thanks for tuning in today. I have another exciting project for you featuring um, two of the new 2017-2019 in colors. Uh, here we have uh, Powder Pink and we have Fresh Fig and they absolutely do look beautiful together. And when we do this card, we're going to do this technique in here with uh, re-inkers and here is the inside of the card so let's go ahead and get started and i'll show you how uh, we do this so let me put that aside for the inside of the card i'm using whisper white and i am using a word set from here for you and this has those sometimes you just can't find the right words get the set it has all the right words that you're going to need so I'm going to stamp it with Fresh Fig. So let's go ahead and ink that up. And we'll just stamp that in the middle. Okay, so we have that. That's all the stamping we're gonna do. And I'm gonna go ahead and mount that on the inside of my card. I'm using Fast Fuse. When you use Fast Fuse, you want to come straight down and then just kind of snip it off. There is a learning curve with Fast Fuse. I will tell you that right now, so be prepared. Um, but it is very, 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 very secure. So we've got the bottom of our card done. And so now, let me show you how I created this re-inker technique. I'm going to use a piece of shimmery white cardstock and two re-inkers. I'm going to use Imagine Fresh Fig and Powder Pink. And what I'm going to do, and I want to do it off of this left margin because this is going to be covered and when you initially use the re-inker technique you're going to see a row of dots where you've dropped your ink. So you want to make sure that they are out of the main frame or what's going to show through your card. And I've done this a couple of different ways, but I'm going to do this way uh, seem to work a little bit better for me. I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do seven, seven rows, because I really want my focus to be on the powder pink. I'm going to do one drop of fresh fig at the top and one drop of fresh fig at the bottom. Now, when I pull this with my card, I'm going to lay it down and then I'm just going to kind of go up and down and that's going to give us a little zigzag and I'm going to go all the way across and see how it makes that nice border isn't that oh isn't that just cute ignore that loud boom I'm sure that that was some fireworks going on out there okay so now we have our background done absolutely absolutely love that now to cut the friend out, what I have done, and I've already done this part, is I run this through the Big Shot. This is a framelit using, uh, I think it is the Lovely Words die, and this is the stitched framelit. And I'm gonna take that. I love how our oval um, shape here works with our oval framelits and the oval stitch shapes. So we're just going to go ahead and pull that out and there is our friend and if you notice we have another shape out here if you were to just use this right here it would not cut out you would have the friend it would look like this let me just show you that without the stitching it would stay into the piece of cardstock but I wanted this to be separate and apart so that's why I've done it that way and I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of those letters. Okay, and so now we have our word friend. Now for the other part of the card, what I have done is I mounted this floral paper, which is powder pink, onto the powder pink background, and I used an oval framelit and I just went ahead and I just ran that through the big shot. I cut, I adhered this first and then cut both layers at the same time. It works great, there's no problem. Now I'm going to adhere this 
to my card. And I'm going to use the two-way glue and we'll go ahead and again somebody is using firecrackers outside much to my chagrin which scares my cats so let me get this all the way around okay and I am going to pick this up with my tweezers and lay it down on the top of my card just kind of press that around and I kind of like to do it from the back so any glue comes back here doesn't bother me at all okay now one of the things I discovered is ooh, that didn't work hmm. okay let me try that again obviously I didn't let that dry enough or there's glue be glue there so let's okay too much glue so let's get that down like that okay we got that I'm going to go ahead and I did not like the way this stood up on here I thought it needed something and this kept smushing down so I wanted to go ahead and put some That was fast fuse that just dropped on the floor. So let me just get some snail and put around all four edges there. And then I will put my window sheet down. And that kind of separates it. It doesn't make it makes it so this won't smush down. And I'm going to mount that with dimensionals. So let's just do one, two, three, four. You know, normally I would put one in the middle, but not tonight. It's not going to work. And let's go ahead, put that there. And then you can line this up to see where that's going to look the best. Okay. Oh, I got a little glue. What I'm going to do here, because there is a little glue that came off. Once that dries completely, I will take, I have this wonderful adhesive remover and I will just erase that and that glue will be gone. Okay, so now we have our card and I am going to take my snail. And see how you have those dots? Um, again, I don't know if I said, I do this this inking technique on whisper white, I'm sorry, on shimmery white cardstock. I have not quite frankly, tried it on other card stocks. That's how I was taught, um, but that sounds like an, exper like an experiment for me. And that is our card. Isn't that absolutely wonderful? So here's our inside and here's our front. I really love this technique with the re-inkers and how that gives such a nice background to that card and kind of makes that friend pop out. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Uh, if you have any questions, just put it in the comments below. Also, feel free to um, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Again, I apologized about the firecracker noise. You never know when you're recording a video what's going to happen outside. And also, if you are interested in more videos, um, please feel free to subscribe. And I look forward to hearing from you. For the measurements and dimensions, I will link the blog post and that will have all the information pertaining to the supplies and the measurements for this project. Thank you so much. I appreciate you tuning in. Have a wonderful stamping day. Bye-bye.